Now we're going to uh, put on the uh, starter and the plate. This is the plate that was sawed off earlier uh, during construction of the uh, block. So uh, this uh, this covers the uh, the bottom half of the uh, bell housing here, and this bolts on here. The screws on here, here, and here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to install the uh, oil pump and the uh, oil filter. And we'll come back here. Okay, we've got the uh, we got the starter in place. We got the oil pump in place here, and we got the oil filter, and we got the plate here, the cover plate for the bell housing all in place. So um, now we're going to turn it over and we're going to put it on a stand here. For the assembly, we're going to assemble the, uh, we're going to put the heads on the engine here. But first, before we do that, we have to put on the crankshaft, or we have to put on the camshaft. And uh, this is the camshaft I talked about earlier in the other videos. And uh, it just simply goes in. Like, uh, it just simply goes in. And, uh, like that. Should be able to turn it now. Yeah, everything turns okay. It's important that everything. It's so important that everything turns very free, uh, with no lubrication, because uh, if it won't turn free without lubrication. It's not going to turn free with lubrication. From past experience, so. This is important, and everything seems to be uh, turning properly. And uh, so, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to put the timing gear cover on here. And uh, I normally don't do it this way, but I'm doing it this way for the video. And the timing gear cover, of course, goes on here like this and uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that on and uh, we'll be back okay we got the timing gear cover on and uh, so turn the engine and everything seems to work pretty good there and that's good um, one thing I'd like to point out that there's an adjustment. I've already adjusted this, but there's an adjustment right here, uh, and the and the adjustment um, this adjusts the uh, the clearance on the uh, camshaft here, the end uh, end play of the camshaft, uh, so that uh, it stays in alignment with the with the crankshaft gear down here. So let's, uh, while we got this on, let's uh, go ahead and put the uh, crankshaft pulley on. There's a, there's a Teflon, there's a Teflon uh, washer right here, and that rides against this, the uh, timing gear cover right here. And there's a reason for that, and the reason is, is because when this, when this engine turns high speeds, the crankshaft has a tendency to, to, to wind up, to twist, and when it twists, it actually, I found out, it took me a while to figure out what was happening, but it actually pulls the, the what am I trying to say, the crankshaft, the crankshaft grows shorter because it twists up like a screw, so it twists up. So it's actually become shorter, so this helps 
uh, keep it from this helps uh, keep it from coming shorter as it, when the crankshaft shortens up this uh, it, the uh, crankshaft fully uh, uh, rides on this uh, this uh, Teflon washer here and uh, comes up against the timing gear cover and keeps the crankshaft from from uh, shortening up too much. I know it's hard to hard to believe, but it, it does happen. Okay, let's go ahead and put the crankshaft uh, fully on. And that's basically it. And we put a nut on. We put a nut on it, right there, like that. 256 nut. And we'll tighten that down. And, uh, that's it. It turns. And, uh, that's it. Okay, next we're going to work on the heads. Okay, now we're going to assemble the heads on, and this is going to be the left side. And the first thing we have to do here is uh, put the head gasket on. And uh, it says top here, left side. So let's put that on. Put it over the uh, 256 studs here and the oil return tubing here. Make sure it's in place, and it is. Now we have the heads. We checked, up. We checked all the valves and they seem to be okay. I want to make sure they all work. One thing I'd like to point out is that you don't have to worry about the uh, you don't have to worry about the valves hitting the pistons. They don't they don't go down that far, and you got uh, quite a bit of area here in the combustion chamber, so it doesn't uh, the valves never hit the pistons. So let's put this on here. did forget to mention and I didn't show you didn't point this out but when I put the timing gear cover on I made sure that the uh, camshaft was in time the timing marks are lined up with the uh, crankshaft I didn't point that out but uh, that's what I did there so we're gonna put the heads on and one thing I one thing I was gonna say here is one thing I want to point out is this area here where the where the lip where the push rods where the push rods come up through is uh, is hogged out here so there's no the guides that were here originally are not used the guides are uh, gone here so there's no guides and um, the uh, the push rods go right into the uh, holes in the, in the bottom of the rocker arm so there's no guides here at all so let's just uh, drop this down on there, back down on here again. Over the studs. Got to kind of, there you go. Lines up. And then the nuts, there's no lock washer used on here. And the nuts go on here. And there's five of them, 256 nuts. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put those on, and we'll come back. Okay, we're going to uh, go ahead and tighten down, torque down the heads here. And uh, I do it this way. I don't know if it's the right way, but this is the way I do it. It doesn't have to be all that tight. It usually does it right there. Sometimes I have a head gasket leak, 
and uh, it sounds like a mouse squeaking. And so if I hear a, a mouse a mouse squeaking sound, then I know that I got a leaky leaky head gasket. I'll uh, I'll torque this down. Now. I'll torque this down again. Um, Okay, that's it. Now next we're going to put on the uh, we're going to put on the rocker arm shaft, then we'll uh, put on the push put in the push rods and the lifters. Okay, this is the rocker arm shaft on the left side, and uh, you have to keep everything in order. So I keep keep everything as close as I can. Uh, Make sure I don't get anything mixed up. Everything has to go back together the same way you took it apart. And uh, basically, you just uh, put this on like that. It takes a little bit of takes a little bit to get it on right. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but I have to get everything lined up. Cool. That wasn't so bad. Now, before I put it on, I got to uh, put the oil, I got to put the oil supply on here, the oil supply tube on. So, uh, put that on here. It just plugs in here like that. Okay. And uh, make sure everything uh, sits down in there. Seems to be. All the rocker arms. And uh, then we'll, um, we're going to um, go ahead and put on the, uh, there's little seals here. Little seals that go on the, go on the uh, 256 uh, threaded rod here. And then there's going to be a uh, there's going to be these cap little caps here that go on here like that, like that. And we'll go ahead and put that on all of them here, and then we'll come back. 